we're going to be covering action. We're going to be doing one of my favorite, favorite foods. It's called tengjang jjigae. In English, it doesn't sound as sexy. Soybean stew. Been to one of those uh, Korean barbecue places. You probably had it as a side dish. It's absolutely delicious, very healthy. Without further ado, let's get started. <laughs> Let's start with rice. Wash this out a little bit. This water here can be used for broth. This is called saltimur. Don't wipe it out or don't throw it out. Give it one more. Here's the ingredients list. Freeze the screen if you need to. Otherwise, we push along. Go with medium firm tofu. In Korean stores, it's called chigeyong tubu. Cut the daikon into rectangular pieces. The daikon gives so much oomph to the to the soup base. Zucchini is about two inch in length. Cut that into rectangular pieces. Half an onion and chop that into nice squares. Brisket looks nice. Yeah, cut it into small pieces. If you're in the Korean store, ask for yangji. The green one gives the heat. The red ones give fantastic color to the broth. Also, I should mention, you can use any other vegetables you like. Shiitake mushrooms and potatoes are also very nice. Two tablespoons of sesame oil and then one of canola oil or whatever kind of vegetable you have. This in. I give it a good stir. Then we start putting the daikon or the Korean radish in. The radish starts turning a little bit clear. Then three cups of rice water. Yeah, these are goofy looking cups, but it helps. One. That's two. And that's three. Let it come back up to a, a boil. About two big scoops. We want it to dissolve instead of getting big clumps. So do you just get rid of them? Yeah, I don't generally use it. We'll put one more. We'll try the other method. And we'll put one more. Basically just dissolving it. Half a scoop here. Boil for about 10 minutes. Then skim off a little bit off the top here. Put in our vegetables. Zucchini and onions in. Spring onions next. And then spice it up with some peppers. The tofu we save till the end. If you put in too early then it starts breaking apart. Boil for about 10 minutes. Let's give it a little bit of a stir. Put in the tofu. I don't know, treat it like your, your girlfriend. Be gentle. The final seasoning. Half a spoon of garlic. A third spoon of the Korean chili powder. What the chili flakes will do is not only give it a little bit of a kick, but also give it a little bit more coloring. We turn off the heat. We take a look. Wow, that looks delicious. Wow, look at the colors. It just looks like nice hearty stew, guys. First, I like to take a sip of the soup. Regularly you would have this stew with a bowl of rice and you can have some kimchi or you can have some side dishes as well. If you eat like this, you're gonna, you're gonna be happy. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Why are you messing with me? It tastes good. Yeah, it tastes good. Why are you messing with me like that? <laughs> 